Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going old school and looking at a few more of my multi-tools, but this time with a spin. Some of you may remember that I've done a couple of videos on multi-tools in the past, as it's a little obsession of mine, and I thought it was about time to finish this particular video that I shot the footage for over a year ago now. Now we're all in need of a distraction, I thought it was a good time to get this one out there. So without further ado, let's look at some fake multi-tools and see how many you can guess correctly. First up here we have the original and possibly most copied multi-tool, a Victorinox Classic. The Classic has a fold out small pair of scissors, a blade and a file, and as you can see both of these tools have all of those. They both also have pull out toothpick and tweezers. And the only real difference on the two of these is the placement of the keyring a detail you may not notice even if you own one. So which is the real Swiss Army knife? With the keyring sensibly placed on the opposite end to the slide out tools, it's on the right side there. So on to the second pair of tools here, the Leatherman Micra, which I think may be the longest produced Leatherman tool, if I remember rightly. Only one of these Micras has measurement markings on the side, both have scissors as their primary tool, and they look very similar. The fold-outs are also very similar with drivers, blades and files. Only one has a serrated blade and the other a pair of tweezers instead. Have you got it yet? Probably one of the easier ones this. The genuine Micra is on the right hand side. And on to the next tools. Here is the lesser known Gerber Curve, a handy little carabiner style clip on multi tool. Now, this one is a tricky one, even when they're both right in front of you. There are some very subtle visual differences like the cutouts and the screw placements. The tool sets here are different on both tools, with the one on the right having scissors, a 2D Phillips head driver and file, flathead driver and blade, whereas the left hand tool has the same flathead driver, file with 2D Phillips head and blade, it lacks scissors and has a large flathead driver instead. Both tools have the same locking mechanism and bottle openers too. So let's have a look at which one is the genuine Gerber. I'm willing to bet you guessed wrong on that one. It's the one on the left. I've got to say this is a good fake, possibly even improving on the original. And finally we have another Leatherman here. This time it's the Squirt S4. Incidentally the PS4 model has been my EDC tool since my Gerber Dime broke and it still gets used almost daily. So let's have a look here. Obviously two different colours, so no cheating and looking at my old collection video. The black one here has a blade, file, flathead drivers and bottle opener plus 2D Phillips head. And the pink one looks to be identical with its fold outs. Both have the pull out tweezers, Victorinox style. and both have a main scissors tool when unfolded. And if I remove the tape, here we can see the genuine lever man is the pink tool on the left. So how did you do? They were pretty close weren't they? I only brought these as little curiosities and figured the best thing to do with the footage was just have a bit of fun with it. If you're genuinely interested in my opinions on these and some other mini multi-tools then I'll link them at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you're all staying safe out there. Until next time, goodbye for now.